Hi everybody, this is Debbie. Welcome to Wednesday training for today. This training is actually pre-recorded because I am out of town currently. Um, and ironically, I picked the topic this week to talk about due to what I'm doing. So the topic I'm picked for this week is gratitude. Um, as we speak, I should be three days into a mission trip with my kids. Uh, we are in Charlevoix, Michigan. Um, we headed up to a Native American reservation where we help some elders get their property fixed up and then we are working with um, their youth. And these kids have never been able to do an overnight camp before because they've never had the staffing to do it. So gosh, doing something like this is such a, a great experience and what I'm hoping that um, both my kids and I will get out of it among many things is again, just realizing what we have and being grateful and showing gratitude on a daily basis for everything we have, not just the big things. Um, so I have high expectations for what they will get out of it by the end. So talk to me after I get back and we will see. But um, gratitude is such an important part of everything in our lives, um, whether it comes to personal work, health, and overall demeanor. It's so important to every aspect of our life. Um, gratitude is a state of mind that arises when you affirm a good thing in your life that comes from outside of yourself or when you notice and relish in the little pleasures. Um, it's an emotion expressing appreciation for what one has as opposed to something that's consumer driven and emphasized on what we think we need. Um, practicing gratitude means paying attention to what we are thankful for, which is, you know, we are all so busy in our lives. Sometimes it's really hard to sit back, especially when things are crazy, and show gratitude for just those little things like something as easy as a beautiful sunny day after so many cold days in Michigan, right? Um, so it's proven that gratitude can have a very positive effect on your life. Um, so let's talk about some different areas that gratitude can make a big difference on your overall life. Um, one is it makes people happier. A study showed that a five-minute daily gratitude journal increases your long-term well-being by more than 10%. You've heard of gratitude journals where at the end of the day, you write down five things you're grateful for. It takes seconds, you guys doesn't take much time at all, but it allows you that time to sit back and reflect on your day, no matter how bad it was, searching for five things that made you smile, five things that you're grateful for. And remember, these aren't things you, you necessarily go out and buy. It may be the fact that you woke up in a good mood today. Maybe that's not normal. The fact that you got to have a glass of tea in a quiet, peaceful house. Maybe it's the fact that your kids didn't leave toys all over the house today. Maybe it's the sunrise or the sunset. Um, maybe it's a song you heard on the radio that brought you a memory. All those little things, if we acknowledge them every day and pick out five of them every day, will make a huge impact on our lives. Um, while we're in a grateful mood, we'll feel gratitude more frequently. So when we, when we do feel more gratitude, we tend to be more intense and happier and that's held for longer. And then we feel more gratitude at the same time. So it's kind of a circle. You know, the gratitude gets you in a really good mood and that good mood could carry on longer and longer and then it makes you grateful for more things. So it's this circle that can keep going around and around doing good things for us. So I like this um, quote. In five words, gratitude triggers positive feedback loops. So gratitude is going to make that positive feedback come over and over. It's hard to be sad and depressed when you're writing down five things that you're grateful for. So the more you do that, and the more often you do it, the longer sustaining that grateful mood, um, you'll be in that grateful mood. So gratitude also makes people like us. Go figure, right? Gratitude makes us nicer, makes us more trusting, it makes us more social, it makes us more appreciative. As a result, of course, you're going to have more friends. People are going to want to be around you. It helps you deepen your relationships that you already have. It can improve your marriage just by that little bit of gratefulness. I think I've said this before, but <laughs> my mother-in-law told me a long time ago. I've been with my husband since I was a senior in high school. I remember very early on, she told me, sometimes men are like children. You need to thank them 
for all the little things they do. And that just always sticks out to me. So I try so hard to be grateful for the things that me, my husband does. And, and sometimes it takes a little bit for me to verbalize it, but it is so important. Um, they, people want to hear that. Um, gratitude can be better for our health. It can cause less hypertension, depression. It can help you sleep better, give you more energy. The more gratitude you have and the more you're feeling like this, you more, might be more likely to exercise. Um, gratitude can boost your career. It helps you get out there. You're feeling good about yourself, so you're more apt to network. Um, it can help you increase your decision-making skills. You're feeling good about something, so you might be able to just be right on then and making that next decision. It increases your productivity. It attracts people to you. We're in a network attraction uh, marketing business. So what we want people to be attracted to us. It makes it better when you're working with others. And so as a result, gratitude helps you achieve your career goals because if all these things are falling into place, more than likely your goals are gonna be getting met. Um, as it's also gonna make your workplace more friendly and more enjoyable to be in. Um, gratitude can also strengthen our emotions. Um, it can help reduce feelings of envy. It can make our memories happier. It lets us experience good feelings, helps us bounce back from stress. You know, think about the more grateful you are, the better, the better memories you will make. Um, the more grateful you are for your own life, the less apt you are to look at someone else and feel envy. That's why social media can be such a tricky thing. You know, you go on there and you see all this stuff of how great everyone's life uh, appears. Then maybe after you do that, take some time to reflect back to all the great things that you just had happen that day. Because you're probably only seeing those things that they're, they're showing, people are showing you only what they're grateful for or what they're happy for. They're not showing you the other stuff in their day. Um, gratitude can also help develop our personality, can make you more optimistic, more spiritual, perhaps less materialistic, less, less self-centered, give you a higher self-esteem. Um, you know, with that more optimism, you know, um, gratitude can be directly related to that. Because if you think about it, op optimism, that's a hard word for me to say, makes us happier, right? The more optimistic you are, the happier you are, the happier you are, it can improve your health. And it can, it's also been shown to increase your lifespan by a few years, the more optimistic and happier your lifestyle is. Um, you know, gratitude is not just an emotion that happens, you know, by itself. It's, but it's something we can cultivate and work at. The more you work at it, the more you're going to find, wow, I am grateful for this. You'll take that moment. You know, our sermon in church day was about breathe. Take a step back and just breathe. We are all so, so, so busy. Take a step back for yourself and take that time to breathe and take things in. Um, take that time to show gratitude. Take that time to take that spiritual time that you need. Um, meditation or yoga, whatever it is that gets you in that calm place and makes you happy and grateful for what you have, you have to take that time every day. Give yourself the gift of 10 minutes every day to help put you in this place. And it's going to help your overall well-being. Um, gratitude practice begins by paying attention, right? You have to notice all the little things. We tend to take it for granted. Um, I'm trying to think of just something random and easy that happened today. Um, oh, I woke up 20 minutes early. Seems silly, right? But it wasn't because that means I got an extra glass of tea or cup of tea, mug of tea. I was so excited this morning. I got an extra mug of tea. I sat on my computer for a minute um, that some time I don't normally have because often I can rush in the morning to get where I need to be. So that little thing that set my day off in such a great, a great place. Now I could have set my alarm, but I was trying to allow myself to let my own, let my body wake up instead of me being woke up by my alarm. So I was grateful for those few minutes that I had. Um, so make sure you pay attention to all those things. The person that says hi to you in the grocery store, maybe you're having a bad day and someone happens to ask how you are and that they might give you that smile. All those little things, I got a hug today from my favorite little eight-year-old boy that I see at church. He did tell me he's going to start charging me five bucks a hug. But it just makes me feel so good when I get that. And I have such gratitude for um, those warm hugs because I don't get those much with 15 and 18-year-old anymore. So pay attention. Look for those little things throughout your day. Um, you know, did someone at work 
if you work another job that you're going into? Did they bring you a sweet treat? Um, did somebody, when you were out and about, treat you with extra courtesy than you're used to? Um, like I said, the sky, the sun, the clouds, a moment of peace if you have little kids running around. 10 extra minutes on their nap time, I remember those days. But gratitude involves acknowledging the difficult and painful moments. We're not gonna ignore them, but then in those, finding something you're grateful for also. So you, you direct your attention to um, something positive about it instead of just letting the, the negative drag and drag and drag you down. Um, again, I said it at the beginning, but consider writing about it in a journal, in a letter. Um, writing helps you organize your thoughts, accept your experiences, good and bad, puts them into context. Gratitude journaling is just such a great way to frame your day, whether you do it in the morning. I like it at the end of the night because I do it for what, at the end of the night, what I'm great, grateful for, as opposed to in the morning from the day before. But I have had to catch up the next day, and then I look back at the day before, and it does put a smile on your face for that day, thinking of your day yesterday. Um, it helps you create meaning, um, especially if something hard is going on in your life, um, but meaning with your everyday experiences. and you know, it gives you that framework of just gratefulness for the day. Um, by writing it, you're also going to just be able to kind of apply yourself and see the goodness in your life, what you've gained from it, even the bad experiences. Um, there was a study done um, that randomly assigned people were assigned to keep a weekly gratitude journal. And um, they, what happened is they showed that they exercised more regularly, reported fewer physical symptoms, felt better about their lives and were more optimistic about the week, the upcoming week to come compared to people that were assigned to record bad events or neutral events. So when chosen to, um, when they chose to do the, or got picked to do the things they were grateful for as opposed to neutral or negative, these people had such better results. Um, so I highly recommend for you guys to start doing that. Um, finally, um, expressing gratitude completes the feeling of connection. Many people in your lives have helped you along the way, right? In different things in your lives. Have you thanked them? Consider sending them a letter, telling someone what their actions did to you. Especially, could you imagine sending something to someone that maybe you're grateful for and they did it a long, long time ago, but all of a sudden today you're feeling grateful for it? Um, imagine the good feeling, you know, very few of us get snail mail anymore. It makes you feel really good, even a text message of just, hey, I'm thinking about you, you know, a long time ago you did such, such, and such, and it made me feel really good. And those are such amazing texts and messages to get that just, there's nothing better at warming your heart than when someone sends you like something like that. So imagine sending that back to somebody else for something they've done to you. Um, so my challenge for you, is to start a gratitude journal and write five things a day that you are grateful for. Um, and you can choose a theme. I've done it both ways, where I just write five things I'm grateful for. But I've also, in one of the trainings I did, we were told what to do each night. Um, like one night, or for like a week at a time, it was five things each night that I was grateful for in my business. Um, maybe the next week it was in my personal life. Maybe the next thing it was as specific as with my children. Um, with my house. So you guys can categorize it if you want or just five things a night that you're grateful for. But just make sure you're not repeating the same thing over and over. Um, you know, like little kids, I'm grateful for my mom, I'm grateful for my dad. I want you to think deeper than that. You have to do something that truly happened that day. Something that you acknowledged in that day that made your day better. So I challenge you to do five a day and try this for a month and see where you are at the end of that month. And the thing is, is if you're, I know summer's a, a place to travel and be anywhere. You know, if you keep it in a small little journal, you can bring it with you. And if you forget, write it on a piece of paper. Type it in your notes on your phone. Um, my husband does a gratitude thing. He has an app that he does right on his phone. I'm a pencil paper person. I just, I like to write things. So I do it on pen and paper, but there are apps out there where you can do that too. And that way you could do it anywhere you go. So I challenge you to do that and see if it makes a difference in your life, personally, professionally, um, health, with your family. And I will let you know at the end of my mission trip um, 
if my kids were able to achieve more gratitude because I, you know, we all, like I said, get caught up in our lives. And I think it's such a key thing to teach our kids along with ourselves, of course, because even we forget sometimes to look at everything that we have in our life. So I'm excited and I feel very honored and blessed that I have a job like this, that I am able to go take a week off to be with both my kids on such an amazing experience. So I hope that this message finds you well on this weekly Wednesday. Um, and I will talk to you guys soon.